And there's, there's a lot of wildlife and territory around here. Kenny Mahoney has lived in southern Jefferson County his whole life. He knows the people, knows the land. You know, you can see deer track, no problem. And certainly the animals, which makes it odd his garden wasn't growing the way it was supposed to. I planted uh, 14 rolls of green beans and they just wiped them out. A bunch of stuff smashed over, but no, uh, no detailed tracks and something I wouldn't know. Kenny was determined to catch the culprit. I set the cameras up and they tell me what wildlife's in the area and uh, what time they come through and everything. You can clearly make out the animals in most of the pictures. There's a rabbit right there. It's a raccoon. See? Oh, yeah. Except for this one. At roughly 50, 55 yards from the camera to the uh, where the object was. A big black figure in the distance of one of his photos. I'm 5'11. I'm thinking this is was well, probably five foot tall. And like I said, when we look at the picture later, you know, you can see the thing is about this tall. It looks like it's about this wide. I didn't expect to track, uh, catch Bigfoot on a camera. Do you think Bigfoot's a vegetarian? I hope so. But what else could it be? Some have guessed a bear or an ape. But have you ever heard of either in Jefferson County? Maybe a trash bag blowing in the wind. Or perhaps there's some truth to those tall tales after all. Every once in a while, you know, I think something's impossible. You know, they catch a prehistoric fish every once in a while or something, you know. I, I don't want to ever rule anything out, but I'd say it's a real long shot for uh, Bigfoot to be living in a backyard in Fairdale. Elizabeth Donatelli. There's some ugly man around here that might pass for Bigfoot. <laughs> Wave 3 News.